Craft in sudden victory. Last Friday night, Michigan falling to the aforementioned Cowboys of Oklahoma State. So here we go with the Hawkeyes and Wolverines. Another great night of wrestling here on the Big Ten Network. We saw Nebraska and Ohio State. And out. here's Spencer Lee wasting no time, Jim, in on the legs. In on the legs here, Medley doing a nice job. He's noticed how he's clearing out here. He's trying to clear out that right ankle. You want to be able to go ahead and move him back into it at this stage right now. That's tight position there for Lee to be in for that knee here. Both of his knees have been surgically repaired, and Nick Rosso jumps in, thankfully, in that position here. We don't want to see anything happen at this stage of the, of the career and year. Spencer Lee wanting the two-point takedown doesn't get it as the potentially dangerous is whistled. And Jim, this is a little bit of a rare sight. No points on the board, just 35 seconds in. <laughs> yeah. He was able to, I, I like the explosion on the shot, though. I think that's what's really coming back into Spencer Lee's wrestling, particularly on the feet here. He's just going ahead and you know, jumping and getting into those legs here fairly quickly. Lee was working off a two-on-one. Switches off to a double here. Lee doing a, or Medley doing a nice job of maybe cutting the corner on this here, but he follows through here, gets the shoulder up the rib cage and basically collapses Medley in that position and scores the points. 2-0 for Spencer Lee. 90 career victories, 77 of those bonus point wins for the three-time national champion out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania. And this is where he is deadly in this top position. No doubt about it here. And I think Spencer's the type of guy that probably has a vivid memory of that last match that he had with Medley. Number one, because it went long, all right? But uh, see that Medley's keeping his elbows in, gets one back up to his feet. It's good work right there. That was an 8-1 score in the dual meet. Lee did at the Big Ten's tech of 19-3 as he's in on the legs once again for a second takedown, making a 4-1 score. Yeah, bad sign for the rest of the field here at 125 here when you see Lee getting on that offense, dropping into those shots. Now you see him having a two-on-one ride right there. Comes over the top of the elbow. You wouldn't say this about many matches here, but against Spencer Lee being down 4-1, not a bad thing as he avoids giving up near fall right there. Just a one count for Lee. Yeah, he's just such a hammer on top. I haven't seen anybody like him from the, with the lightweights you know, for 40 years here. So you have to go back to a guy by the name of Gene Mills. Oh, man, that's, that's tight right there as far as going over the top. They're going to go off guys. the mat. But, you know, Gene Mills was one of those wrestlers back in the early 80s. Basically uh, did a great job a of, of, you know, in the top position, worked half Nelsons. If you ever looked at any of his clinics, I mean, he's just a, one of those, you know, guys that was so tough Bottom in the top in position. Nice Big pause. 38 seconds right here, Jim. If Medley can keep this 4-1, I consider that a victory for the Wolverine. Yeah, no question about that, but it's a big if right there, even with 28 seconds left. He's got that the arm barred up on the left-hand side, got the wrist captured underneath, almost. Right there, he comes all the way through. He's got the wrist captured, and there's the point, Shane. Here he goes. I know you tried to set that up for a moral victory here, but uh, Spencer Lee was having none of it. Two near fall, final seconds here in this first period. Two takedowns and a turn for two gives Lee a 6-1 lead to the second. Yeah, as I mentioned before, he just... Back in the day, Gene Mills was the type of guy that could put 30 up on a guy real easily from the top position. Green's going by. And wear guys out, and that's that's Spencer Lee's. The, not necessarily the reincarnation of it because he's so explosive on the feet. Bottom man set. Mills is a, I mean, it just reminds me of how successful that Mills was in the top position. And, you know, pinned 108, 109 guys. I don't know whatever the number was in his career, but, you know, that's these are the memories. That's what this, to be compared with a guy like Gene Mills is just amazing. and. So many outstanding Spencer Lee stats. 33 falls in his career, 27 in the first period. Right there, rolling back through. Medley has his grip broke right there. Didn't be able to give up the one point. 
One green. On a seven-one match. And this is what I'm looking for here. This is the Spencer Lee that has come back in his style here, being able to go ahead and explode when he gets to that shot. Right lead leg by Medley. Lee with riding time at 116. Medley five and two in Big Ten duels had that nice win against Eric Burnett of Wisconsin. Inside Cliff Keen Arena beat the Badger 12-6. He's dangerous. In Chesterfield, Michigan. Anchor Bay High School. Inside of a minute here in the second period. And Medley Jim has been able to slow this down in the second period. And I think he slowed it down, but I also think that Spencer slowed down a little bit there too. So I don't see shots from Medley yet. There's the first, you know, fairly decent one. Now it in the whip over position here for Lee. Wrestle through that. Work through that. Just over a half minute remaining. Good job. So I, I like that right there. That, that's a call. For, notice how that, that Medley wanted to get out of that position, and he just bull rushed him into a, a, a better tie and pushed him off the mat and got the stalling call. See, way too many guys not pursue when they have an advantage tie, when they get a guy that wants to get back up to his feet, get the advantage tie, and take the territory right there. I can promise you, Jim, right now, nobody in line to get a Carver cone. All eyes on Spencer Lee. Get out of that grip. He's got the choice. Not going underneath Spencer Lee will start neutral here in the third. And looking for right now, it's, it's clear that, that Lee has slowed down a little bit. You know, reaching, we saw that a little bit. Now he's jumping in on that shot. Immediately comes back up and gets there. So he got himself going right there on that shot. And, and what I like seeing in there is the explosion there, popping right back up, you know, coming out the back door with that. Pretty much slamming the guy down and Medley falls off. Lee at the moment in line for bonus points. Yeah, he's going to be hunting that wrist right there. See, he comes over the top there, grabs the wrist. And sometimes he doesn't even need the, you know, doesn't need the tool on one. He just does it with so much strength. He can pull you into his chest and locks you up on top of his hips right there. Gets the back points. Serious hand fighting going on down there in the bottom position by Medley. Riding time over two minutes now for the Hawkeye. You know, I don't know what you do if, if you're coaching against Spencer Lee in the down, you know, the down position. You've got to take a guy maybe the size of Kevin Jackson, put him on the top position, and just have him work real hard. This is Spencer Lee's final Big Ten duel meet of his career. He's 33-0. He has never lost a Big Ten dual meet. Green, you're up, red, you're down. Same good starts. Bottom man set, cover, you're on. Caution on Lee. Give me a little pause, both guys, all right? Go ahead, get set. You're on. One of the all-time greats, Spencer Lee, looking to become Iowa's first ever four-time individual national champion as we edge closer to the national tournament in Tulsa. With the riding time, 11-2, major decision for Spencer Lee.